Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny from Danny Tutorials and today I'm gonna show you how to make cute little umbrellas. Before we start the video, as always, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button because I put four to five videos a week but doesn't have this like the right day so you don't miss any tutorial. Um, I'm going to start making my umbrella with the wire. I'm going to show you guys how to make it in two different ways. If you don't have the wire or if you have the wire, you need to find, this is like floral wire that you can find anywhere. Um, and then you need to find something rounded. I'm using the Christmas ornaments or you can use a, a light bulb, anything that goes and gives you that shape. So first I'm gonna show you how to make with the wire. I am just cutting the wire um, the same um, length that's going from the top of my circle to the bottom. That's gonna be how big your umbrella is going to be. And then I'm gonna use a very um, soft and new clay that is gonna stick right there and one that is not super new then it's a little bit drier from the top where we're gonna place our wires. Um, I want the soft clay because it's gonna stick better whatever I'm using, but because I don't want it to glue it there. And now we're gonna put all our wires around. I'm just putting a little bit of um, white glue to keep them not falling from the clay and then we're gonna make like a, a sign you make like a pizza so you're gonna put on the four sides and then between them you put another extra one if you want the umbrella to be very marked on the top where the wire is then some types of umbrella have that you're just gonna need to use a little thicker wire than i'm using right now so you have this done all your wire there and then you can sit aside to dry just for a tiny bit. I'm using another Christmas ornament just to put it on top of it and let it dry. And you need to cut a circle with the circle, the cookie cutter or anything um, wider than is your ornament, your base or a lamp bulb or whatever you're using. And then we're gonna gentle press that open clay. Then you're gonna try to open as thin as you can, but not see through. And then we're just going to place like you're covering a cake with fondant. Same thing, go slow, put the clay down and then you just keep like um, touching it with your palms until you have the clay covering the whole um, part of the circle where the umbrella is going to be and the wires. Just be careful to don't move the wires around when you place the clay on top of it because you want that um, designed to be showing on the top as well. So I am going to let this dry um, overnight um, and then before I let it dry if you want to have that wire looking on top of it you can go with a tool and just kind of make sure that you're gonna see that detail um, since the wire I'm using is super thin. Um, the other way I'm gonna show you guys is sticking to the, like this video I'm gonna show you how to make without the wires and then you can make that a little thicker and then it shows it better but I like both ways I like the wire because the inside of the umbrella looks pretty clean and neat and all the same color and it's not messy and it's not squishy um, so I kind of really like the way it looks inside as well when I use the wire you can use on um, two different colors of clay um, to do this and you can use a uh, polymer clay if you want to bake it and to be a little harder um, you just need to use something that you can put in the oven and that a lot of people use like a lamp bulb you know to put it there I'm using the air dry clay um, then I have the link down below for you guys because it's super light and I can put it in the top like I can make a mini and she holding the umbrella. I can make any figurine because it's so light and it's not gonna mess it up. And I just made it like a J, a letter J. And then I'm just using a little bit more of my wire to make the bottom part of the umbrella. And I'm putting a little circle on the top to give a detail and make a little teardrop shape, a little elongated teardrop shape to make that top part of the detail of the umbrella and then we're gonna let this aside and dry um, completely 
so we can get that out. And now I'm going to show you guys how I make without the wire. So I'm using a thick snake with clay and I'm going to go all over and put the excess inside the ball, the ornament, to let it dry and don't move. So you can make this to be as thick as you want now. So it's going to really show on the top of the umbrella like they have those um, wires holding it up. Um, but I kind of I'm gonna show you guys after it's dry how it looks inside and why I like the wire better So now I put a little glue and just tiny bit of glue with more water than glue um, Just to make sure then the pink clay is gonna attach to the gray one uh, the gray the purple one so I'm just going very gentle between them and just putting this excess in the bottom just like I said, just like covering a cake, you need to go with the fondant gentle and just, you know, make all these pieces apart. So you just go around and then you get all your clay to go down and be rounded at the edges. If you want to make an umbrella with two different colors, like you can make stri stripes and put it on top of it or triangles and make it like, you know, those umbrellas then like three different colors, like normally like clown umbrellas, you can do that as well. But just take your time and go gentle until you get all the excess going down out of the ornament or the circle, whatever you're using. And I'm doing the same thing with the tool, just over marking my wires um just to when it dries looks cute and this one is a little bigger so i am going to use that oval cookie cutter um to cut the little um sides of the umbrella then goes up like a pizza and then that's what we're gonna do if you wanna if you're using the light air dry clay you can let it dry and then cut it after if you're using cold porcelain you cannot because once it's dry you're not going to be able to do this if you're using fondant and gum paste also you need to cut it before it dries so depends what you need you can adapt to it this air dry clay is completely um non-toxic because they're normally made for kids so they can put it in the mouth technically so it's not going to make um any bad things for anyone so you can use e easy to make cake toppers or cupcake toppers or things like that people just cannot eat it and now you can see I let it dry overnight and you can see the purple one the smaller one then I use the wire it's perfect one color inside it's not messy doesn't have any marks just that two color then I put it there specifically because I wanted that little circle but you're gonna see then this one then we made it the wires with clay once you put the pink clay on top of it it squishes everything inside doesn't matter how gentle you are to press the clay because you're putting a little glue you're putting things like that so it's gonna look this messy inside but i use that i make normally when i want the outside to be more marked and when i want a texture inside so both ways work fine one is a little bit more um the design is a little bit more it's a little stronger i would say and now you're gonna see how i fix that i get any texture that i want hearts flowers things like that and i open a very thin piece of the clay i will mark with the texture and then we're gonna cut triangles triangles then they need to be as close as you can for in each part of that pizza then you, when you look your umbrella inside out you're gonna see then separated by that purple clay making like pieces of pizza so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make triangles like a piece of pizza and we're gonna put it in each one of those square uh, the those pieces to cover that messy that um part that the purple one is making you know when you put it together i like to do that when i want um the texture a little detail because once it's dry and you put your chalk pastel or any petal dust if you're making fondant or edible and you do that inside looks really pretty too so if you're um 
you know, figurine that you're using is gonna kind of hold it over the shoulders or things like that, and you're gonna see the inside, you want the inside to be pretty as well. So that's when I use the texture um, to cover everything and to make you know everything pretty and neat i make a circle in my hand in the middle just to give an impression then all that is together that was sewed together of when you make the umbrella so i just use my finger and i make a circle right there and i pinch every single side and i cut it um around the edge in every single little piece to make even cuter if he, again, if you're using cold porcelain, if you use fondant and gum paste, cut it that before you let it dry. And then you pinch the sides together, or if it's dry and you're using the air, uh, air dry clay, then I have the link here for you guys below. Um, I do not know where to buy cold porcelain here in US, but um, the light air dry clay that I'm adapting to it, um, you can find it at Amazon and even if you're in quarantine right now because of this crazy virus you can order just let your box sit outside for like an hour and then wipe it up everything and then you can have your clay and you can make something to don't get so bored and the same texture that I use I open a clay that is very 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 thin and I push it on I spray a little W40 on it the texture so it doesn't glue in it and I am getting the same little pieces of roses to make even more details on my umbrella. So the texture that I use inside the umbrella is the same texture that I'm using to make the flowers. So it's kind of a little cute, neat detail. So I don't like to make everything the same. So I use different sizes. I use a bigger one and smaller one. Normally when I use a bigger one and a smaller one details on the same umbrella, I put it when the their little ones i put two of them you know you can make even a little leaf and put it there as well but it's so easy to do because it's just using the texture pad and then you can put it in the corners and give such a detail and so cute um, as you can see, I put a little purple on the top to make the detail with the teardrop shape on top of this one. And I'm just going around and putting um, little roses. By the way, you can use those little roses for anything. Um, you can make it and let it dry and they have ready when you need to use it. Um, but it's super cute, super easy. And if you use the air dry clay, it's super light. So you're not gonna have a problem then any figuring to hold it. Um, if you're painting a doll and if you're making something, a cake and things like that. I hope you like this little tutorial and I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of this fun. Bye guys.